just taking it serious too, okay? Dude, I'm, I'm on the board, so you know you can skip the whole speech bullshit, okay? I'm down. Alright. 5.30 every day. Yeah, man. I'm serious. I'm serious as cancer. Fucking more serious. Fucking money cancer. You know, I'm, uh, I'm CEO. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's Chief Operating Officer. It's Waystar Royco. So if it operates, I chief it. Flip over and go. Yeah. You're a little sloppy, uh, but I can get you tight. Yeah. But yeah, no, 5.30. That's perfect. AM, right? Yep. Well, good, because the other 5.30 I'll be at work, you know? Being an agent of change and, you know, fucking firing people. Ah. That's money, body, babe. Off character, wait there. Oh, she's there. It's morphine. It's not that unusual. I know. I'm fine. Is everything all alright? Hi, Shiv. Hi. Hi, Tom. Hey, I'm afraid I can't stay. Excuse me, one second. He did it coming over here. Even though he didn't want to. Hey, what's the what's going on? Nothing. Oh. Staff. Uh-huh. Good to see you. Yeah, I know you said that he wasn't great, but I was passing by, so I thought I'd just drop in. That is so sweet. But you know, he's not seeing people right now. Yeah, but I thought I could just pop up. Even if, you know, he's grumpy. I think it's best you don't. Marsha, I've seen my dad do the master cleanse. I can take him a little bit grouchy. I'm afraid that is out of the question. Um, do you... Might it be an idea to check and see whether he's changed his mind? Yeah. Just perk up a little bit? Of course. Ooh, she's like the gateway person. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, hey, hello. <clears throat> I'm Shev, Logan's daughter. I just, you know, I wanted to say thank you for, for all your work. You're quite welcome. <laughs> yeah, it's much appreciated. Thank you. And uh, how, did, how does he seem today? Good? Oh, you know. Well, actually, we don't. We, uh, we heard all about the sock. Yeah. She's, she, can't say, she can't say shit, babe, or she'll get fired. Wife is lucky that she's down. I'm going upstairs. See my own daddy. It'll stabilize. Mm -hmm. I know. I know it will. So, I've been thinking. I've got a new game plan for the call. Uh huh. Hey, can you try not look so fucking nervous? I know what I'm doing. I'm relaxed. Woo! Really? Kendall handled that like a boss. Yeah. Damn brother back here at ad living. Just had to say that was great. Kudos. Always here. If you need a friendly Tom or like <laughs> just uh, get shit in the parks. Yeah, yeah, Tom. I mean, this is a piece of shit chain on the stretch of nothing with this. This is the most delicious thing that anyone's ever fucking tasted. Thank you. Thank you. So, dude, listen. Uh -huh. I can do with a read from uh, someone without a dog in the fight. No. Actually, I gotta talk to you about something too. This is tight. This is absolutely just us, okay? Fuck. Because uh, Elite kills me. Right. This is about Rava. For our pal. Rava? Yeah, it's a mutual friend, and they want to know, is it cool, or are you still hankering for a wine friend? I don't have time for this, I mean, who is asking? What? I can't say, but they just want to know if it's an issue. Like who? Fucking okay. Paul? What if we came in, took the whole thing off your family's hands? Uh, well, obviously, no. 
fuck off, how dare you, I'm so exalted, etc. Of course, but you and Roman and shit, you're gonna like, do that thing forever? No. You won't have the chance to be fucking, fucking, like, ugly petrol ruble rich. You can do anything. You can go into tech. Schiff can do her politics or whatever. And Roman can, you know, snort his body weight. You all live unhappily ever after. Uh-huh. Thanks, dude. Just think about it. We're a company. That's what he's saying. We're a whole company. So why wouldn't your original bank want to step up and help you out? For reorientation? Shaking the tree, folks! Shaking the tree! Excuse me? Greg? Are you kidding? Hey, Tom! Forgive me, but, uh, are we talking to each other on the poop deck of a majestic schooner? Is the salty brine stinging my weather-beaten face? No? Then why the fuck are you wearing a pair of deck shoes, Nat? Oh, yeah, no. Well, my credit card got maxed out. Um, I'm staying in a youth hostel on like $80 Jesus, a day. Jesus, no squalid. Dude, are you carrying dog shit? That's a doggy bag. No, no. No, it's, uh... It's cookies. It's free, right? I'm, is that cool? I mean, I don't, you know, I don't want to be melodramatic, but... My body is growing weak due to a lack of sustenance. But in a dog poop baggie? Yeah, I have a bunch of them from right. back home. That's disgusting. Oh, really? It's, clean. it's like, it's not like they pre-poop them or something, like, it's not like, they're just bags, really. It's just a mental barrier. A pair of Capto, Oxfords, Crockett & Jones, ASAP. Lucinda, can we, uh, figure out where we might put the talented Mr. Greg? Can I get a pizza, like, yesterday? What am I gonna do? What are you guys gonna do? I mean, at least he's being relentless. Yeah. Cause literally nobody even fucking knows why you're here. Now how is the auntie or the sister gonna just send him over here to be like force your way into getting the job? Hey. Yeah. Hey. Which would be they which would be they daddy how you um, been? sister, uh, right? Yeah, good. Busy. I can't remember what she was. Right. So is this Work. Yeah? Of course. Yeah. What? What? Work. A little work meeting on the bed of a four-star hotel. I think you're mine out of the gutter. Okay. How's it going working with Joyce? That tall glass of tepid water from Albany. It's great. Yeah. How's the uh, poor man's Fidel Castro? Senior senator from the state of 1975. How's that working out for you? Better. Zing. <laughs> I wondered if you could do me a favor. Do I owe you a favor? Yeah, because I deigned to date you. You deigned. <laughs> That's nice. And I thought we were going to be friends. Sure. I want to be friends. Okay. I need a background check on somebody. Well, that might cause some ethical issues. Because there's a world where my guy and your gal ends up in the mud wrestling for the Democratic nomination. No, it's not political. Uh, I need background on someone off the record. Uh, Marsha. Marsha, the wicked stepmother. Mm. Yeah, you know, it occurred to me a few years too late that I don't really know anything about her, so. Why did Just you give me a chance. Okay. Well, she's, she's um, trying to take power, babe. I know a really horrible guy who's incredibly expensive. Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. All goes through you? Yes, my lady. Okay. <clears throat> you know you're rich when you don't even have to ask how expensive. Yeah. You see the women I dated after you? Yeah, they only dated you because you dated me. They were like, oh, I guess he must have something. Mm -hmm. Boys store diversity and harassment policy. Why don't you get the room? Yeah, how did you get <laughs> That whole conversation. Okay. Yeah, they they call each other. Anywhere. Yeah. yeah.
Hey. Where are we at? We're down two more points. Fuck. Listen, Sandy Furness is here. What do you mean? He's here. In the building. He can't do that. Fucking Pepsi doesn't just drop in to see Coke. Put him where no one can see him. Self tank. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. Sharks are circling. Your father would shoot him on sight. You know, I don't need to hear what my father would do right now, okay? He's not here. Right. I'm going to handle it. Mr. Furness, what a surprise. So kind of you to drop by. No, not at all. I just came to say how sorry I was to hear about your dad. Well, it's so we kind of you. come here to, like, ooh, That's savagery of this world. What's the competition? Well, I hope I didn't send the birds a tweeting about all yeah. the uncertainty and whatnot. We'll make sure so you just walked over here. Me. And you'll give your dad my best tell him I stop by. Of course, sure. Maybe when that news is uh, less likely to kill him. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. I, I do, I appreciate this. Oh, and just to say, if uh, I can give you any advice, I'm just watching the wheels nowadays, so if you want to run anything by me as an honest broker, use me. A mentor. Oh, that is a very is kind of offer. No well, there's probably a million options with our two firms. Swaps, acquisitions, cooperative interactions, you know, smart stuff. Only a young man like you can conceive of. Oh my god. Well, Sandy, you've been pretty smart. Smarter than the regulators, anyway. Tell you what's smart. Walter, I don't care what the wise apple say. Well, uh, I've got a thing. Hey, Jess, will you take Mr. Furness down? Look at you. Right in the eye of the raging storm and, and cool as a cucumber. Stay strong. Stay in touch. Um, oh, one more thing. What are you doing? Taking my shirt off. That's all. Ken, make him put his shirt on. I don't. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Shirt I, off. I, I... Shirt off. Why? Shirt's off. Shirt's off. How about your jacket off? Come on, man. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. That's all. Let's go. Okay. So, worst position, we sell down the stock, we survive. Maybe we cut a title or two from physical production, newspaper-wise, online only. Well, that is a like that. $20 million solution to a billion dollar problem. Yeah, but it's the right direction to travel, that feels yeah. right to me. Well, if you want stuff that works for the price, layoffs. Yum, yum, blood! Yes, see? Shirts off shit. I guess it could be a package. Layoffs, sell-offs. Structured retreat? Well... Yeah, but with a philosophy. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Okay. I mean, I guess we just have to ask or, you know, tell Dad. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. That shit knocked his ass out. Hey, guys? Yeah, that's right. I need to go over there. Hi. Hey, sweetie. What's up, Slugger? Hey. Hey. Thanks for joining us. Actually, I, uh, I can't stay long. Yeah, apparently goes for us too. Aunt Marsha won't let us see Grandpa. Right, kids? Huh. Hey, Marsha. Kids. I'm gonna just run the fuck upstairs. Me too. How are you? That's literally what I'm gonna do. What's going on? Our I legitimately would do that. How's he doing? Like, just like a taste of it. Really, dude? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Are you done? You didn't know what they were doing? No. Obviously, yeah. I don't generally take minority stake in a public company. Yeah, obviously. Because you're a parasite. Mm -hmm. How about for once you make things bigger? You know, with your old pal? Are you done? Yeah. Bro, well, I can't even begin to think about this. But if I could, to sell it, I'm going to need voting stock. As long as the family maintain control? Well, effective control. I'm also going to need a board seat. Oh, I force it on you, dude, mm -hmm. for the optics? 
shit hot new CEO, has some hot shit new money for investment, new generation, I keep the debt out of the news, fucking sisters doing it for themselves. I'm not necessarily totally opposed to this notion. That's right, and luckily I speak Stewie, and that's Stewie for I have a fucking raging heart on for this. Right. Come on, buddy. You might have a deal. You, you come problem. back with four million dollars, boy. You do it. Oh, great. Great stuff. Great. When he won a publishing assistant and then just marries his guy, fine. Or. Or. Cleanup job. <laughs> oh, hey, Mark. She needed new identity and everything else. Door opens, and there you are. Hello, everybody. Nice, yeah, hi, this is Connor, Logan's firstborn son. You remember him? And this is Tom, my partner. And together, there are over 12 right. feet of we would like to see him. Please. Are you trying to force entry? Is that it? Oh, boy, I thought we were just stopping by. I usually try to avoid confrontation. Let's all breathe. He simply isn't up to visitors. Is this about me signing some pieces of paper or. Oh, peace, chef. It's very difficult as it is. Oh, the fucking waterworks? Is that it? You're gonna cry now? Please. Shiva, I can't believe you would try and stop me seeing my father. And I can't believe you would try against his wishes. Hi. Dad. Hey. Can you... Hey. How are you feeling? Good afternoon. Thanks for making time for us, Mr. Polk. Not at all. Well, we've been looking at the terms we can offer. I think you've seen what we've put together. I have. I have. It's a, it's a very brutal structure. Well, these are the terms we think we can offer right now. I mean, I don't know. The margin you're making, you might even say you were... Well, I mean, extortion is an ugly word, but, uh, you know, so is buzzsaw castration. We should keep things professional, don't you? Uh-huh, sure, sure. And uh, professionally, we're going to repay. As in? We're good. Everything's golden. We don't need you. This can all stay private, and I'll be looking elsewhere for a banking partner as we go supersonic. Goodbye. Mr. And Roy. fuck you. Oh, and fuck you. Is this done deal, though? I mean, Why you, yeah. like, I would wait until the money's in my fucking account. Yeah, you get the money from your boy like, and you just do a coke with? <laughs> It's super good. I'm thinking tout le lapin. All of the rabbits. All of it. Well, I mean, I guess that's my question. Is when they say all of the rabbit, do they mean like all of the rabbit? I mean, it can't be like all of it. So is this the Stewie hmm? money we're celebrating? Because I saw the news. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm the man, mm -hmm. but if there were a man, mm -hmm. hypothetically, he might look a lot like me. How was the deal? Because you so burned that bridge all the way down. Huh? So, I'm very happy for you. Yeah. Well, the thing is, all of that, it's made me think about everything. And, um, well, you know, like, here's where I'm at. I love you. He letting these endorphins go this area. Okay. Yeah, well, clearly. Thank you. Noted. That's it. Yes. Come on. And uh, okay. I. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure that I love you. Say what now? Yeah, you do. Fuck you. <laughs> Look, you want us to live separately, right? We don't know why right now. You say you do. Now that makes me unhappy. On the other hand, you claim, but of course I don't believe you, that us being together will make you unhappy. So, one of us is going to be unhappy. I just don't see why it has to be me. Wow, I, I cannot argue with no, that it's like No, I can't, because it's up. the argument of a psychopath. A so psychopath who might hypothetically be the man. What an who arrogant fucking thing to say. Holy shit. <laughs> I might have to be the main. <laughs> hey, he's wearing the hair again. Yeah, I don't think he's wearing the hair. 
think it's gonna work yeah. out. do shit, really, because my back has been fucked since Monday. Fucked how? Well, I assume you're insured. I mean, I do big, big shit here every day, so losing even a quarter of a percent of my operating capacity, that has million dollar implications. So, I'm thinking, maybe a test case, I throw three or four dozen white shoe lawyers at you and see what it would be like to actually physically destroy someone. Dude, I don't know what happened, but I'm sure I can fix it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just haven't. They're separated, yeah. They haven't actually got a divorce, I guess. So that's Robin. Mm -hmm. She's like, I got a lawyer. Marcia, just keep his everything all right? Jenna, your father would like to see you. I'm fucking jetting over there right now. And after you went down, the stock tanked. I mean, you should be flattered, I guess. We had some pretty shitty options. I mean, you took a gamble on that loan. But I found us a private equity solution, so... I tried consulting you, but... People like the shape of this. Carolina says there's positive analyst noise. We are at 36% of effective control. Plus, so. Uh episode three of succession and man another great episode right here fast paced just a lot of corporate jargon um, a lot of damn maneuverings backstabbing and just showing the, the ugly face of corporate capitalism in america and you know i love it all day long it's funny it's sad it's shocking and it's you know it's cringy. evil as hell it's definitely cringy, cringy. And um, they make it seem like it, it's unbelievable. That's that's the way some of these people act. But it is 100% how the world operates with these type of people in charge like that. And um, it is is it. So I guess it's going to be a climb right now to the recovery of the dad, right? Because obviously he's going to be in the show. But 
Um, he's not liking the way his son just made that move. Obviously, he heard about it. And so he called him an idiot. And I wonder why. I just want to know what he would have done if he was, you know, better on there. Because it seems like there was really no options to be had at this point. So I can't wait to see, like, why he thought his son totally messed that up. But it come to find out that the cousin is probably going to be the one that's got all the goods on the information that everybody's going to need. And that, um, what's our guy's name that's uh, in charge? Kendall. Kendall. Kendall is about to be backstabbed by his supposed boy. boy. So mm -hmm. that's what it looks like it's going. And so, man, it's just exciting episode right here, man. And it's just, I can't wait to get to another one. Yeah. Um, the, the intensity of what this show is, is like next level. I'm like, my yeah. hands are sticky and I'm just stressed it out and anxious and it's cringy and it's, it's, it has all the there there. Um, I think, you know, I'm, I'm very curious how the show is going to continue to develop. Um, but it was very obvious in watching it with Kendall being as like excited and proud and showing off and like all this confidence boost with the decision that he made that it wasn't going to play out in the way that it did. But what I especially liked is that one, the dad is so savage. He got himself up just to give him the one line that he's an effing idiot. Yeah. But what I like in response is how scared that made Kendall, which shows the respect he has for his dad about his dad being this like master business guy. So the fact that he clearly made a mistake, Kendall looks scared. He's like, well, how did I fuck this up? Or why is this a bad decision? And what's going to blow up in my face. Yeah. And then the subtlety of just having Greg, is that the cousin's name? Um, uh, yeah. Walking in the park and seeing, you know, him speaking to the arch nemesis that we just got introduced Brandon to as well. Just happened to yeah. See too. Um, it was just really well done to end the episode, like super subtle. And it's like, Oh shit. Like you could feel the intensity of that and like where that's going to be. And honestly, I have so much anxiety for Kendall because I would be freaking out in that situation. I think the show does such a great job of creating that angst that you carry as, uh, as somebody watching it too. Um, I had one more thought and I think I just lost it. Um, yeah. Anyhow, uh, can't wait to see great way to end this episode. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to see where it continues to develop from here, but that was definitely like a cliffhanger type moment. Cause we have to wait to the next ep the yeah. episode to see how this all plays out and potentially blows up in Kendall's face. So, yeah. Oh, last thought I thought, Roman played the exact role you would anticipate him playing in this episode as far as the ad-libs and as far as like what he did in his office and just Not his caring. entire approach. Um, so again, I'm curious to see how that continues to develop. I think too, oh, that was what I was going to say. Um, the jargon, so Kendall like isn't your typical, in my opinion, like hard ass, like I feel like he's very restrained in the way that he carries himself amidst, I mean, the one time we saw him really snap was with the, the dude that they, the media company that he just got uh, to come over. Uh -huh. um, but the conversation with the arch nemesis corporation and the fact that like they were super polite, but like when he talked to Roman after was like, this is essentially what we're saying to each uh -huh. other. And it's just understood. I love that moment so much. I was like, that was so fire. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested to s continue to see how they, uh, reveal and showcase what this world looks like because it's so removed from anything that we understand and, yeah. and take part in. So another great episode. Can't wait for the next one. All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Succession, Season 1, Episode 3. And until next time, people.